Hey guys and girls, welcome to this first episode of uh, Making Games with C++. And we're not going into visual games just yet. We're just going to start with a console RPG. We're going to have items and stuff, and we're going to have enemies, and we're going to have, uh, you know, weapons and all that stuff, and just leveling, and maybe some skills, maybe some story, something like that. So we're going to be making this during a, a longer period, so we're going to do it in parts. And I'm going to just be doing this like I'm coding live, so I'm going to be making a video, cutting it out, cutting, 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 and just making sure that you get the raw, like, problem-solving part of it. And you can skip ahead and stuff like that. I'll try to be as clean and as, uh, you know, well-spoken and, and whatever you want to call it, as, as uh, explain things as well as I can. But, uh, yeah, we'll just start off by making a new project. I'm using Visual Studio 2015 here. Since I go to school and we get all this stuff for free. Um, but uh, if you have code blocks... You know, it'll be just exactly the same thing. Just make a new project, call it Console RPG or Swag Lords Dungeons or whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, just go ahead and do that and uh, create it somewhere convenient. And then just go ahead, make an empty project, Windows Console application. I usually turn that off. Still haven't figured out why, but seems like a good thing to do since my teacher does it. And then just finish and you have a new project. Now every program always starts with a main main function and we'll call it main.cpp okay we have our main let's just call it main.cpp with the oh. okay fine 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 we'll leave that there uh, so we will include I IO stream since that is the uh, core of our program using name space std since we're not using any other libraries I might as well do that and then int main and uh, return zero to learn C++ like in, in detail uh, go ahead and watch my example videos and my tutorial videos um, this is more of just I'm just gonna be coding this game you follow through I'll explain some stuff and uh, maybe not in as much detail as I used to in the other videos but I'm just gonna go ahead and code and then we'll see what happens okay so uh, yeah um, I'm wondering how I'm gonna do this because um, we might as well have a header file header file we call it includes We'll call it functions, okay? Because you can actually make your functions here in the header file, and just make sure they uh, they come with you. Now, this is very important. I haven't explained this in the other videos. I might as well just do it here. Uh, Pragma once is Visual Basics way. I'll do it the right way. If and def if not defined functions h. You can name this whatever you want as long as it's the same throughout. And if define functions h and if okay so what this does is it makes sure that C++ will never define a file with this name again if it's defined once it won't by mistake define it again and that would break the program so you need to do this in every header file that you get just remember that just do it it will tell the computer to just define this once if it's not defined define it and if okay and then it will go through all this stuff so uh, yeah we'll have our functions here well, let's see here let's say let's say what do we want we want a menu so we'll just make a void menu okay and I'm not making a class for menu because I'd rather just do this and we'll have a game menu and we'll have stuff like that or well, actually we'll have a game class We'll have a game class later. We'll actually just make a game class. Class wizard. Also the resources. Wait, add class. There we go. There we go. C class. Class name is game. So we have a game class. And it has a virtual destructor, which is always good to have. I have game here. Game CPP. And what I usually do is I do this. Bam. There we go. We'll have functions here in case we need it. We we're gonna have some stuff in there because we have IO stream. It's good to do that in some functions here. So we have main. We have our game CPP. Why is it so crazy here? 
I don't know. Okay. So, we're going to have a bunch of things in game. All right. We're going to have functions. Remember functions? We have our constructors, destructors. We're going to have some operator operators for overloading and we're going to have our variables in private. Okay. So we can have variables here. All right. So we're for our menu we're going to need something like choice. All right. We're going to have to choose stuff. So basically it's going to be just your character. You can choose to move somewhere and maybe while we're moving we'll there's there'll be a chance to, you know, find treasure or enemies or something like that. You can choose which way to move. And if you find treasure, you gain some gold and stuff. And then you can always go back to town and maybe buy weapons and stuff like that. Or re-roll weapons so you get some random cool weapons. And then you can go back out and try to fight and level up. Okay, so we have that. And that all that leveling up stuff we'll have in another class called character. But this will just be for the menu. And this will just be for the menu. Just so we can show a menu on the screen. So that's not too bad. So let's just start by saying choice equals zero okay so choice equals zero and yeah we'll just go from there we'll see where we come so to make a function here uh, void main menu okay main menu and the thing is that um, oh yeah, yeah yeah of course we need to define it there we go Let's just say that and game. Okay. Like that. So the main menu, what's gonna happen is that it's going to loop, 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 loop. We're gonna do that. Let's see, game start. So we'll have our while loop in here. Actually I like having my while loop in, in here in the main. So like that. And Right, let's see. Game get running. So we have pool running playing. Okay. Playing while it's playing. So we we're gonna have to have accessors and modifiers. So our accessors is gonna get get pool get playing all right let's just get playing const all right and we'll actually just make this in line why not or just in in here um we'll playing const uh return this play okay return this play there we go. That's in itself a end. So uh, let's make a game. Let's include game. Include functions. Okay. So while game game. Okay. Then game dot get playing. All right, while it's get playing, it's going to keep going, okay? And otherwise, it's just going to exit out. So we have our Boolean playing. Let's update that. Playing equals true as soon as you start, okay? Then we're going to have to make a void end game, okay? And ending the game. Actually, you know, no, no, no. We can just do that in main menu. We'll just take the bool. I will make it false. So there we go. Well, main menu. We'll start by saying main menu. Okay, and we're gonna have to use IO manip here actually. Um, and and uh, let's do let's do include our stream. Oh yeah, we'll include everything here. Then we don't have to do it in here. This is also important. Don't make sure you got some clean, you know, like really clean code, clean includes. Don't include unnecessary stuff everywhere. 
Okay. Don't do that. So string. Whoops. Did I just burp? I think I burped. I'm sorry about that. Excuse me. String and IO manip. Okay. We're going to do that. We're going to have to include C time because we're going to need rand and stuff like that. And what I always do, I always like initializing my S rand in my um, main function. Okay. Why is this not working? Then I do C time. And I included. I did include game. It should be working. It should be working. That's strange, dude. That is very strange. That is strange, I tell you. C time. If I do it here. Oh, here it lets me. Hmm. That is very strange. I want to do it here, though. I really, really want to do it here. I don't know why that's not working. I do not understand that. Let's do this. I do not get that. Uh, I'm going to be using Pragma once, just because it's easier. Uh, but you guys go ahead and do the other stuff. Oh, it's because I did it in a whoops. I'm so dumb. Sometimes. Oh, God. This has to be here, of course. And then we'll do this. And then there we go. Now it works. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So we got that. So we got a random going. We'll get our game going. And the main menu is going to make sure that I have ice stream and I need to have okay let's do that so we get that in there we don't need this here then because we got that in the game the game is like our main like place where we just you know uh, do everything okay we do everything in main or in, in game Alright, and everything is connected to game, so it's like a hub for all our classes and everything is going to be run from here. Alright, this these like videos are going to be a little strange, just so you know. They're not going to be a lot of common, it's just going to be a bunch of coding. You can follow through, you can see what's going on. So, okay, main menu. We have our choice variable. So, main menu. And then we're just going to print out in a nice way uh, what we're going to do. So, zero is going to be quit for now because that's all we can do okay um, then we're gonna have a bunch of these in here okay a bunch of these like thingies options for maybe quit uh, travel shop okay level up shopping leveling up and what else can we have? Shop level. Well, if you travel, you get an attack thingy, and then you get a you go into a new attack menu. So we'll just we won't have attack out here. So shop, quit, travel, shop, rest. Let's say rest, just as a as a uh, example here. So zero is quit. All right. So we have all that, and we make a switch case with choice. What's our main switch case? Case zero. Case or default break. Okay. So what we're going to do here is case zero. We're going to say uh, playing equals false. Okay. And we're going to say, let's say, well, it's just going to jump out then. So let me see if this works now, just as a starter. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I am main menu. That game, that main menu. There we go. And then we actually have to sin choice. Just like that. And then it'll keep going and keep going and keep going. So, let's keep going. See what happens here. 
Okay, we do zero. Bam. Choice. Oh, wait. Like that. So we have our choice. We'll go down one step. So we have these ready here. And then we'll just do zero. And they'll quit. So that's great. We'll do two end lines. Just make sure we see what's going on. That looks good. That looks good. That looks pretty nice. So we'll quit. And quit works. So our game class is working. We have a game class which helps us include everything and just has everything running inside of it. And later we'll be able to make main menu, we'll be able to make attack menu, all these things. But uh, I think for now, this is about it. And I'll keep going in the next video. Uh, so yeah, I hope you learned something and I'll, I'll see you soon.